How's it going, everyone? It's the one Jane from PodigyGames.com here to tell you about we are doing a giveaway. All you have to do is like the video and tell me in the comments whether you play Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering, and you will be entered to win one of two play boosters of Modern Horizons 3 or two boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Rarity Collection 2. Now, if you're unsure whether you want to enter or not, let me tell you what you can expect from these two sets, and I'll tell you the notable cards from each of them starting with Magic the Gathering in Modern Horizons 3. We have a brand new Emrakul coming to Modern, Emrakul the World Anew. It's a 12 mana 12-12 whenever you cast a spell, gain control of all creatures target player controls. Flying, protection from spells and from permanents that were cast this turn. And when Emrakul the World Anew leaves the battlefield, sacrifice all creatures you control, and it has a madness cost of pay 6 colorless mana. We also have a Psychic Frog, which is a blue-black 1-2. Whenever Psychic Frog deals combat damage to a player or Planeswalker, draw a card. And then you can discard a card to put a plus one, plus one counter on Psychic Frog. You can do that more, more than once per turn. And you can exile three cards from your graveyard to have Psychic Frog gain flying until end of turn. So it can almost always get in for damage. We also have a brand new Ajani, Ajani Nakatl Pariah. One and a white for a one-two legendary creature, Cat Warrior. Whenever Ajani Nakatl Pariah enters the battlefield, create a two-one white Cat Warrior creature token. Whenever one or more other cats you control die, you may exile Ajani, then return him to the battlefield transformed under its owner's control and it transforms into a Planeswalker, into a Johnny Nakatl Avenger. It's a Planeswalker with three loyalty and it puts a counter on each uh, cat you control, one one counter, or you can make a two one white cat warrior creature token when you do, if you control a red permanent other than the Johnny Nakatl Avenger, it deals damage equal to the number of creatures you control to any target. And its ultimate is a minus four. Each opponent chooses an artifact, creature, enchantment, and a Planeswalker from among the non-land permanents you control, then sacrifices the rest, which is almost like a balance in a Planeswalker, which is absolutely crazy we also have another a card another group of cards as well i should say is the fetch lands uh windswept eath wooded foothills bloodstained mire flooded strand and polluted delta all coming in modern horizons 3 which is super cool we have an elves card priest of titania which is a very very powerful card one under green for a one one add green for each elf on the battlefield that also includes your opponent's elves as well lelia the blade reforged coming to modern which is super cool we have the new flare cards flare of cultivation which is a three mana one and it is a cultivate put a basic land from your deck on the battlefield and add a basic land to your hand we have the flare of denial which is a force of will if you sacrifice a non-token blue creature rather than paying its mana cost we have a brand new card ugin's labyrinth that is uh lets you tap for double colorless mana on turn one there's urza's cave that lets you sacrifice it and search for any land card and put it on the battlefield tapped and shuffle a lot of good cards coming in modern horizons 3 meltdown is getting a reprint a card that's really good in legacy to kill all artifacts we also have null elemental blast which is one colorless mana and you get to choose to counter a target multicolored spell or destroy a multicolored permanent so super good card sylvan safekeeper coming to modern as well winter moon which is a new card two mana artifact players can't untap more than one non-basic land during their untap steps and there is a brand new card devourer of destiny which is a new eldrazi seven mana six six you can reveal it from your opening hand and if you do at the beginning of your first upkeep look at the top four cards of your library you can put one of those back on top of your library and exile the rest and then whenever you cast it you can exile a permanent that's one or more colors so that's all the modern horizons three spoilers that we that we have today and what you can expect to pull at least some of them from Modern Horizons 3 if you enter the giveaway. Moving on to Yu-Gi-Oh! We have some notable cards as well in the Rarity Collection 2. We have Psychic and Punisher, which is a cool one. We have Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Couple arts of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. We have two arts of Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. A reprint of DD Crow and Droll and Lockbird. A couple different arts of Droll and Lockbird. Magician Souls getting a reprint. Hurley getting a reprint. Underworld Goddess of the Closed World getting a reprint as well. Appalooza, Access Code Talker, IP Masterena. We also have nice reprints of really good spell and trap staples like Mystical Space Typhoon, Book of Moon, Enemy Controller, Mind Control, Gold Sarcophagus, Foolish Burial, Book of Eclipse, Emergency Teleport, Cosmic Cyclone, Crossed Out Designator, Pressured Planet Perlerino, Pressured Planet Ratesaw, Solemn Judgment, Anti Spell Fragrance, Skill Drain, Solemn Warning, and Solemn Strike. So a lot of really good reprints for Legendary Collection 3. Really excited about those. And if you are excited as well, please let me know whether you play in the comments, whether you play Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering, and also like the video to enter into the giveaway. We'll be announcing the winner in one of the upcoming videos here on the Prodigy Games YouTube channel, so make sure you have your notifications on and you subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when that video comes out. Good luck, happy winnings, and I'll see you next time.